Do more hot sauce. What the? Where am I? What the hell? I'm on a boat. I'm on a boat. What the? How did I get on a boat? That is located on a deck five forward. Where are my pants? Gotta get off the boat. Gotta get off. Gotta, gotta get off the get, get, Oh. Coffee. Oh. Oh. Gotta get off the boat. Gotta get off the boat. Gotta find an exit. Get off the boat. Get off the boat. Get off the... Oh, wait. Burgers? I mean, get off the boat. Get off the boat. Whoa! having a burger. This is a double burger. I had a whack of uh, veggies and jalapenos and stuff as I'm waiting for the salad bar, ketchup, mustard, hot sauces. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. And have you ever wondered what I eat on my day to day? Or what a professional eater would eat on a cruise ship with unlimited food and unlimited meals? Well, you're about to find out. So this is a three day cruise that I went on with my good friend, Alessandra. You've definitely seen her on the channel here before. Um, so you're gonna be able to see everything I ate. You're gonna see what we did, some of the entertainment. Uh, it's a bit of a movie, so sit back, relax and enjoy. And let's get started as we disembark, we hit the water, we eat some food, and let's have some fun. So for day one, I'd really call it night one, the ship didn't uh, actually leave port until about 3.30 or 4 p.m. So really it was just the evening. We did a little bit of sightseeing kind of around the boat, and then we ultimately went to dinner to eat. So let's go watch that right now. dining room sitting down for dinner so here's the menu you gotta start with your bread appetizers mains grilled items premium items then desserts we got some breads with some bacon grease and some whipped butter what the end so I got some salmon, like a sushi. I got a little green salad. We got some calamari. We got some shrimp cocktail. Appetizers to start. All right, so the appetizers are bite size. I'm gonna try first this uh, with the dill crema. We have the salmon, candied, or cured salmon, candied tomato. It's like a, the main flavor gets the dill sauce, and then the salmon's just soft and buttery. And to me, just like a, maybe like sashimi. No, it's, it is sashimi. It's like sushi. I like that a lot. All right, shrimp cocktail. It's fun. Cocktail sauce. 
Here's our shrimp cocktail. Poblano and corn soup. Interesting. It's not bad. It's just very, it's kind of bland. I'm gonna ask for some hot sauce. Here we have the braised brisket. And this is the salmon. That's what I got. Alessandra's waiting for hers. Let's try this brisket. So braised, braised brisket guys. Pretty tender, fork tender. It has some kind of gravy on it. Interesting flavor. Vegetables take like taste like vegetables. I'll try the salmon while I'm at it. Got skin on. Interesting, not too bad. How's the shrimp? Mediocre? So the yeah the uh, I think the appetizers were a little better than the mains here, but we'll, we'll, we'll find out. <laughs> Round two, mahi mahi, lasagna. Alessandra's on to dessert, cheese. I'm having another round. I have a uh, chicken, and I have another uh, appetizer. I really like the salmon appetizer, so I'm going for round two of it. And it's basically like sushi. Cured salmon. The uh, candied tomato and the caper on it. Nice and salty, a little bit of that dill. Very good. This is the zucchini. Roasted zucchini. A little bit of cheese on there or something. Then, this is the bourbon chicken. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. I have a feeling this is going to need some hot sauce. But anyway. We're gonna put some hot sauce on. And then for dessert we have tropical fruit and what they call a strawberry strawberry crema cream, which looks pretty looks pretty interesting actually. So it's a strawberry uh, thank you cream slash mousse. It tastes like strawberry ice cream. And then obviously this is a uh, it almost looks like an icing. It's like a soy milk icing. But uh, more of the cream, strawberry. Here it's on like a sponge cake thing. Not bad. The advertised that dessert is lower in calories. And then, I mean, tropical fruit. The orange tastes like an orange. The grape tastes like a grape. Pineapple looks good though. That's the best. There we go. That's that's our meal. And then I'm going with another fruit and another strawberry and cream. You guys have already seen me taste these and eat these, but. Strawberry cream, grab some of that. Yeah. Yeah, that one was cold. It wasn't cold the first time. And then, I mean, you guys know what it's like to eat fruit. So they had this big concert hall and a whole bunch of other kind of venues um, that they had like musical performances in. So tonight we were here watching a musical performance. Um, we actually pretty much saw one every single night. Um, but yeah, just pretty impressive if you've never been on a cruise ship to see how 
many of these great big concert hall venues etc they really are on here the ships are truly truly massive Day two, we were at sea. We kind of had a real good understanding of what was available, so now we got to explore more food options, we got to have some more activities, see some more fun things, go to some events like karaoke, I could eat some tacos, some burgers, and well, I'll just show you. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. And real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Z-Biotics, a pre-alcohol probiotic. So whether you want tomorrow to be a relaxing or productive day, you don't want to let the night before ruin that. And here's how, simply drink a bottle of Z-Biotic pre-alcohol probiotic before you consume any sort of alcohol. Combine that with your healthy, responsible drinking habits. And when tomorrow comes around, you're gonna be ready to make the most of it. So in case you're wondering what actually is Z-Biotic, so Z-Biotic is a probiotic drink which breaks down the byproduct of alcohol, which is most responsible for rough mornings. So it's actually this byproduct of alcohol and your unprepared gut, which often makes you feel eh, a little slow the next morning, not just dehydration. So with the holiday season about us, I know I will definitely be attending some social events. I'm also all about productivity. So with Z-Biotics, I am going to be confident that I'll not be having any wasted times or not feeling great the next day. So now that you're gonna be feeling great tomorrow morning, you can make sure you get in that workout, make sure you get that work done, maybe attend that next social event. And it's actually real science, not just some weird plant extract or whatever it may be. In fact, there's actually even a 100% money back guarantee if you're not satisfied. Thanksgiving is coming up, so be sure to order a pack of Z by Onyx, and then all those around the table, and let's say enjoying their time with you, will all be very thankful they did the next day. So right now you can actually get 15% off your first order of Z-Biotics by using my code Joel and or clicking that link down below. So grab yourself a six pack that you won't regret. And like I said, use that code Joel, click the link down below. <laughs> So we have a taco bar, it's solid. They also have burritos here as well. You can pick your meat, then they'll make your tacos. Doing well, man, how you doing? Then you have your salsa bar. They have lots of options, lots of hot sauces, which I really like. So definitely a good setup. There's a frozen yogurt thing all the time. And then there's a Guy Fury burger restaurant, which is pretty solid. They have some good burgers. I had one yesterday. How you doing, guys? And then they have the uh, the toppings bar here. So you can like to dress your burger. And they have a variety of, uh, they have a variety of different kind of flavors and whatever, but they're all pretty solid. It's like a smash burger. So I got a beef taco. They had a really nice variety of different hot sauces um, that at, at the taco bar. So I, of course, was just getting some to dress my taco. Um, I love flavors, I love hot sauces, and I love spice. So yesterday I had the uh, pork taco, I had the chicken taco, I had a beef taco right now. Um, they usually only put the beef on the burrito, but I asked for it. It wasn't bad, I think the chicken was the best. The beef seemed a little fatty. I love that they have a selection of hot sauces and the salsa bar. So I put like, you know, pico de gallo, some cilantro, and then pretty much just the hottest sauces they have. That's what I chose, just the explosively hot iguana sauce, the melindas, etc. They're mostly all habanero based, about as hot as I get, but need enough like I do, I just drench it. So I've got a nice burn around my mouth. But yeah, the tacos aren't bad. Um, inside they have uh, like what they call comfort food. They have like like the place they has like chicken with Alabama white sauce, pot roast, jambalaya, shrimp and grits. 
So kind of some southern flair. There is a place called Chopsticks, which is um, Asian, like kind of basically like Chinese food. You get like lo mein, um, you know, different kinds of rices, uh, some deep fried orange chicken, kind of that kind of thing. Then they have a little bit of a salad bar with some fruits and then like just greens. They have um, like charcuterie with cheeses, salamis, etc. Um, the Guy Fury Burger Restaurant, of course, which I had a burger yesterday. It was solid. It was solid. Um, so yeah, there's definitely lots of options. So, I'll show you what else I continue to eat. We definitely get some vegetables here, some fruit. The taco was the first thing I ate today after that workout. So continue on. And then we have a pumpkin carving competition going on. Everybody. So I got myself some uh, red peppers and broccoli. I got a little bit of a broccoli salad, although they use a cooked broccoli, which is different, and a little bit of coleslaw. I'm gonna use that as my dressing. And this is what they call an Alabama chicken. Whoops. That's what they're calling an Alabama chicken. Um, so apparently it is a brined and smoked. We will find out if that is the case. And, and there's an Alabama white sauce on it. All right, so let's try this chicken. One thing I noticed is on the buffet here, it almost appears to me like they are uh, reusing some of the items from the night before in the dining hall. I obviously don't know that for sure, but that's my guess. This chicken's good though. It's um. It's juicy. I, don't, I personally don't get a don't get a smoke on it by any means, but it tastes like like a roasted chicken. Throw some of that Tabasco on it. Everything tastes good with hot sauce. So if it wasn't clear, they had the buffet at lunch and at dinner. Um, they had a variety of different options, like hot options, but the main thing why I went there was because of this extensive salad bar. I also have two little plums. I noticed this one is a, might be a little rotten, but... Yeah, it's a little off. That's just supposed to be good. The buffet also offered kind of the most variety of fruit as well, so I definitely capitalized on that for fruit and vegetables. Oh, I love bell peppers, by the way, guys. I can eat them like an apple. I can eat them all day. I said I got a little coleslaw. I'm just with my dressing. I also get some more fruit. We found the dinner options last night were kind of mediocre. I think I myself, I had four entrees. And then I tried one other one. The point is like, it's one, it's three, yeah, me too. But after? They were mediocre, the entrees. The appetizers were pretty good though. I know it's a different menu tonight. I might as well, while I'm recording, let's see what the menu is tonight. So we got a ciabatta or a sourdough bread. We have a shrimp cocktail, same as last night. Blackened pork tart, fried oysters. Both of those sound interesting, those are both new. A roasted 
wild mushroom bisque with Sicilian meatball soup, baby spinach salad, and a Caesar salad. So a few new options. Those are the appetizers. For the entrees, we have a spaghetti carbonara. We have a pan-fried striped bass. That sounds interesting. Grilled garlic shrimp. Slow-cooked prime rib. Hopefully that's good. Because a prime rib can be pretty bad. Or it can be very good. Then, they have root vegetables and a pie crust. This is a vegetarian option. They have an Indian vegetarian option. Then we have the grilled salmon, the grilled chicken, and the flat iron steak, which they always have. And then, um, dessert, we have a vanilla creme brulee. That sounds good. We have a coffee cream cake. Which is the lower calorie option. And then we have the chocolate, the melting chocolate cake, the tropical fruit cheese plate, as before. I'm gonna go grab burger or taco. I'll see what I'm feeling. And probably, maybe some more veggies, and definitely some more fruits. And then we're gonna enjoy some more of that sunshine out there. That's what I was doing, lay in the sun. All right, so I got two chicken tacos. I'm covered in pico, a little watermelon, jamaica salsa, habanero salsa uh, that they make, a hot sauce, just like the iguana um, radioactive, some other salsa, more pico, and a uh, bean sa uh, salsa. I got some fruit, got some veggies. All right, then this is all I'm gonna be um, eating until like later, like dinner time, which we uh, have our, res our dinner times at like 8.15, we had the late dinner. That's good, watermelon Hawaii. There's just pico. The bean salad's really good. But right now it's just like a bit after 2 p.m. I think, so. And then the first thing I have is the taco, which was, I don't know, like that first taco, like an hour ago, maybe. Another salsa. Um, I'll try the watermelon on this one. It's a whole cup and bite. And then definitely some uh, habanero sauce. Yeah, the watermelon sauce is really sweet. Habanero salsa really isn't that spicy. Dump it all on. Lots of sauce. I like spice when I'm not eating in quantities like food challenges I don't really like. But I'm eating leisurely. I like a good spice. I just love flavor. So it means something's supposed to be spicy, I want it spicy. Not like ghost peppers, but... You know, then if I'm eating something that's supposed to be uh, sweet, I want it really sweet. Same as if it's, you know, uh, sour, I want it sour. Habanero sauce. It's just uh, the bottled stuff. Delicious. Pico. Again, the chicken tacos are definitely the best tacos out of the kinds. They do have a fish one, never tried it. It's like a deep fried batter fish, so. I'd rather not when I'm being healthy. Um, in case you can't tell, this is just me eating normal, eating healthy. Um, uh, this would be very comparable 
So, con solo comparable. So I eat my day-day at home. So while I do generally eat quite large portions compared to the average individual, I eat very healthy foods. And when I choose lower calorie options, lower fat options, I can actually eat more food. But I mean, of course, comparatively, I don't eat the same volume of food in you know, my day to day as I do when I'm eating food challenges. It is quite a bit less. Look at this view. Oh no. Not good, I don't like that. But look at this. Look what I'm looking at when I'm eating. Literally just the open ocean, just straight outside. So there you go guys, we'll see you later. So I actually decided to go with a burger. I was planning to eat till later, but kind of hungry. So as we did earlier, we looked at like the dinner menu, and I don't know. It's I think it's gonna be pretty hit or miss based on last night. Like it's either gonna be good or that it's gonna be not. So I decided to grab a burger, um, just so I eat a little more earlier than a little later. So we got some jalapenos, banana peppers. It is like a smash burger. I got it without cheese, lettuce, tomatoes. That's some ketchup. Some mustard. And then some normal Tabasco and Chipotle Tabasco. This is going to be a little messy. Nonetheless, I'm all about that flavor. Just gonna pour that hot sauce on as best to a rub for your bite. Handful of jalapenos and banana peppers. It's a high sodium burger. Ooh. And I inhaled the hot sauce. Definitely got a bit of sun too. Out there for a few hours. Ooh. Yeah, well that's probably a burger with like three grams of sodium. My sodium has not been light this uh last two days, that's for sure. But I'm enjoying the flavors. Enjoying the sauce is not a good stuff. It's pretty good, like I said, salt burger. I mean, it's just like a straight beef patty. Basically a smash burger. You cook them fresh. No complaints. A little like, uh, I don't know, probably like a little, I'd call it maybe a potato bun. Not bad. They have their own barbecue sauce and stuff too. Um, I don't know, like the flavored mayo. I cut that. Wasn't interested. Watch the calories. Well, partially. Plus, I tried the barbecue sauce. It's not that great. And I'm just not a big flavored mayo person. So, there you go, guys. Now we're going to play some Harry Potter trivia, I guess. And here we have what they call the Mad Hatter's Ballroom. It is definitely well decorated. Got some really nice little chair thingy things, and they're gonna be doing karaoke here in a moment.
cool to be a fiddler in an old time stream band. My baby plays a guitar, I think of banjo now. It's a painting, good love, don't keep it waiting. I got plans to put my hands in places I've never seen, girl, you know. Everyone, and we are back in our like main formal dining hall. Again, we were here yesterday, experience was interesting, but nonetheless, we're Excited to try these new endeavors. Um, we'll probably get a variety of apps and maybe multiple entrees if we need it. We're gonna order some food here. It's a little quieter right now. I'm not sure if they're gonna get louder like they were yesterday. Yesterday it was real loud. But uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try to start with, I'm gonna try the prime rib. I'm gonna try the uh, the striped bass. This both are sound appealing to me. I'm gonna get vegetables instead of the other things with them. I'm, really like, I'm not gonna get the potatoes and stuff. Um, and then, not the potatoes are bad, just not choose them today. And then I'm, I'm probably gonna try the, maybe the fried oysters and probably soup and salad. Good stuff. All right, here we have the uh, mushroom soup and here we have the meatball soup. Mushroom first. Ooh, that's very rich, very creamy. And then the meatball minestrone. Tastes like a minestrone soup. It's good. I didn't taste the meatballs, but it's like tomato broth, no complaints. We have the pork tarts, fried oysters. This looks good, so tenderloin on a little uh, pastry, basically, so interesting. Then I got some spinach. Health. Want to try your oyster? Is it stuffed? They got something else in there with it? No, it's just oysters with breading. Cool. There you go. Now it is good. All right. Now it is good too. And we will try the oyster. I'll try it just by itself in the deal. Oh, yeah. Tastes like an oyster. These, these remind me of like um, clams. You ever cook clams? That's what a cooked oyster tastes like. Reminds me of. Not bad. And here we are trying a pork tart. You like a cheesy aspect, candy pineapple, and then pastry. Not bad. Now we have the carbonara. We have the grilled sh uh, shrimp. That actually looks really good. That dish looks good. I like it. Yeah. Look, we have the the prime rib, which actually looks good. I'm I'm actually really impressed. We got some good pink on there. I got some veggies with it, and uh, hopefully we got some sea bass coming our way. So Alessandra tried the pasta, but it didn't live up to her Italian uh, try. Italian flavors. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try a bite of this prime rib, guys. It does look good. You want all honesty? That is good. That is good. I'm gonna salt it a little bit. But uh, I gave it to them. The prime rib is good. Let's try the bass. It's not bad. The prime rib shines good. All right, we have a root vegetable tart. Some more fried oysters for Alessandra. And with another prime rib, because it was good the first time, just the straight veggies. So, I mean, even, you don't really need to watch me eat any of this because you've already seen me eat this, but just in case here, I'll wa you watch me eat a broccoli. Tastes like cooked vegetables. Fruit, coffee cake, creme brulee. And the final day of the cruise was in Ensenada, Mexico. So you know we're gonna have some fun, we're gonna show you some sights, we got to see like the La Bufadora, we got to go have some tacos, and well, it just I'm, let's just get to day three. Good morning, everybody. Today, I should have charged this memory card last, or this battery last night, I see. Oh, well, we'll make this quick then. We are in Ensenada, Mexico. Yes, the one port on our little three-day cruise, which this is our big, giant cruise ship, just to give you a perspective of how big this thing is. 
very, very large. And this isn't even like the biggest, the biggest of cruise ships. Um, we are in Sonata, Mexico, so we have the day to do whatever we want, have some fun. Uh, the only really uh, thing on the itinerary I have is I'd like to see a little bit of Ensenada, Mexico. Maybe get a Bee Light, which is one of our favorite drinks. And maybe get some tacos. We'll see what happens. Let's have fun. Alright everyone, we made it down to Ensenada. Specifically, we're at um, the big blowhole, which is... La Bufadora, La Bufadora, apparently one of three natural blowholes in the world. This is apparently the biggest one they own is in Hawaii and then in Australia. So right now as you're getting down there, they have like this little market strip. Um, people are trying to give you all kinds of samples and sell you pina coladas and all the drinks. Um, but anyway, we're going to continue to head down to La Bufadora and we will do some shopping on the way back. They have everything for sale, whether you want your fake sports memorabilia, they want your... Uh, your clothing again everybody's just pushing churros drinks ended up getting a pina colada yeah. this one this place offered a it was about i think 10 american dollars they gave you a free refill and unlimited alcohol as much alcohol as you wanted in that yeah. people try to push nuts and candies dried fruits and stuff um there's panerias which is like uh like bakeries and it's uh this is it's very impressive like as you see this just goes on and on and on and on and on but this is uh this is pretty cool so definitely a big mercado and uh lotes which is like the uh, mexican corn and like i said more uh we'll cover a little more of this getting down to the bufadora guys we have this beautiful view of the sea of the coastline here absolutely gorgeous as again, we kind of walk along a little bit of this cliff side. Here we have the Bufadora. The water's coming in. And there it blows up. So it's right down there. So we're going to try to see, uh, get over here. We're not getting too wet. You can see where the ground's all wet. We could get really wet here. But, woohoo! That's wicked. It goes pretty high. Let's try it again. So here we go, guys. The water's gonna come in here and it's gonna blow the water through the blowhole. Just like that. That's cool. I see some people coming over there, maybe with a different uh, angle, but pretty unique. All right, so here we got a better view as you're gonna kind of see the water rush in. Oh, we we're getting wet, we we're getting rained on. But uh, as the water's gonna come in, there you go, that was just a little one, but you can see how it like pressurizes and blows out. Let's try that one more time. Where we get a big wave. Now it's not cooperating. Let's try a uh, try different angle. And that was a real big one, guys. Just gotta wait for the water to come in. We had a bit of a lull there with the pressurizing, but let's see if we can, uh... there we go. Bam. Yeah, it's, uh, now it's operating. We'll put it that way. See it again. Here it comes. Woo. It's cool though. La Bufadora. Jackfruit. It tastes like a um, cantaloupe to me. Cantaloupe. That's what I got. Oh yeah, I see Cantaloupe. It. Not bad. There you go. First time trying jackfruit, or at least a raw jackfruit. But it's good. A lot of people cook it, make like fake pulled pork and stuff, but yeah, I get like a cantaloupe flavor. It is, yeah. Here we have some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking stones. I'll try to get out of my, get my shot out of the way. Just goes to show some of the natural beauties available in Mexico. People doing these cooked clams topped with shrimp, cheese, queso. Nope. I do not want a clam. But here we're heading back into the market, getting all kinds of, again, look, really nice looking items. Everything being made right in front of you. Pico de Gallo. Here's our leather shops. And uh, yeah, lots of uh, nice fake items. And what more can you ask for? Here, what is so interesting about Mexico and stuff 
is you can buy anything you need. You want antibiotics, you want Viagra, they got you covered, right? So, uh, what do they say? Valia, <laughs> the guys with all the bees. So. And actually, the funny thing is, a lot of these places is... A lot of these places actually give you like a free, a free, yeah, a, a free, free Viagra um, if you make a certain purchase. Um, in here, they actually have uh, baby uh, tigers and stuff that you can pet. Um, you have to pay for it, and you can't take photos. Of those I'd love to show you guys that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, just really a big, big, big market. It's quite vast. They do have all the Mexican candies and stuff, but you're gonna try some. But. We will see what more is to come. I'm gonna go to OXO, O-X-X-O, if you guys are not familiar, big, big Mexican uh, gas station convenience store chain. I wanna look for my b light. That's what I want while I'm here. Uh, but yeah, and then we're gonna get the refill on that pina colada, and we'll see what else I got. Right, and because they pushed it on me, I finally said yes, here we got a Mexican peanut, just a candied peanut. And you know what it tastes like? A candied peanut. But it's good, don't get me wrong. I love candied peanuts. I should have showed you trying the tamarind candy, but uh, I like the pulperindos, and this was a really not strong tamarind flavored candy. I like the real pulp, real pulp flavors. So, but uh, yeah, lots of stuff for sale, and everybody here is trying to sell you everything every step of the way. Push new churros, micheladas, which is like a beer with a hot sauce, so it's bloody merry mix. Here, just because I have it on, I'll, I'll try one of these churros. Gracias. Gracias. Here you go, try a bite of the churro. It is good. Very, very soft. It's so warm. Cinnamon sugar. Pretty good. No complaints. Here we have a further view of the water here. This is um, just outside the restaurant where we got the pina colada. But uh, yeah, very, very beautiful. Nice little view. This is what it looks like on the back of the storefront. But yeah. Gorgeous guys, absolutely stunning. And what else I love is, look at this guys, so here's the restaurant, this is on every table. Look at the setting on every table. Do you know what this is? These are like, you know, however many, seven hot sauces, eight hot sauces, everywhere. That's how it should be. Mexico does it right. Mexico does it right. And we did it. We got the bee lights I went with Jamaica. Alessandra got a, a mango one. The mango, I think, is probably my favorite. The mic is really good, too. We're also gonna, uh, I just, the problem is, I don't think we're allowed to bring these back on the boat, but I wanna just buy them up. They're, they're about a dollar each, which is very, very, very well worth it, in my opinion. And there is more tamarind drinks and other drinks I wanna have, so maybe we'll see those coming. But for now, we're gonna start on the B-Light. Just a funny point, you guys wanna know something about me. So, literally, we left that Oxo. It's right there. You can see the top of the red sign. The top of the red sign. We literally walked over here. This was three steps. I literally had one sip. Well, one sip, and then I made my little clip. Guys, I'm already half done the freaking drink. And this is my thing. So if you want to know something about Joel, if he has a drink in his hand, like water, flavored, no matter what it is, yeah, I am drinking it. I just have it. It's just if it's there, I'm just drinking it. So like if I put the lid on and I was gonna put it on a chair. I wouldn't touch it, and the drink would last a long time. But if it's in my hand, I just love to drink. I don't know what. It's just like if food's in front of me, I like to eat. So it's so just a habit, but there we go, guys. Now you know something about Joel. Here we have all these amazing, intricate glass fixtures, kind of pieces, and the guy is literally making them right there. So that's pretty, uh, that's pretty impressive. I give it to him. Skilled man, skilled man. And then after probably five minutes, my drink is gone. So there you go, guys. That's how long a liter and a half drink lasts, Joel. Five minutes. Alessandra is still 100%. <laughs> there we have some people doing some music. Dressed in some attire. And here's the view from the little bus we're on. Down there you can see some of the uh, open water fish farming enclosures. But just look at this friggin' view. Just absolutely gorgeous. Stunning in fact. The big water, the bay, and uh, yeah, the kind of mountains and hills in the background. Views of some of the drive. 
So now we were heading back down towards the downtown from La Bufadora, which was the blowhole. Um, it did cost about, I think it was about 15, maybe American, maybe 20 American round trip, although it was well worth it. Um, so heading back down, these were some of the sites we saw, again on the short 15 minute ride into the downtown, and the company actually even picked us right up from the cruise port. Here we are in downtown Ensenada. This is like the main tourist hub. We have uh, pubs and beers. You have all kinds of bars, beer gardens, obviously music. So yeah, this is the, the party area. And we're gonna continue walking down the main strip. So taco stands, lots of pharmacies. Again, there's loads of little shops around. And just extends for miles. There's Dick's and Willie's ta uh, daiquiri bar. Tacos. So heading down this strip, guys, it's literally just like miles, endless, endless shops. If you want pharmacies, trinkets, that is what you get. That is absolutely for sure. Oh, and bars, pharmacies, trinkets, bars. Absolutely, absolutely everywhere. Loads, loads of amounts. Then we have some 7-Eleven skies. We have the OXO, which is the, uh, you know, I think OXO is only in Mexico, but 7-Eleven, obviously international brand. Here we have McDonald's. McDonald's, yes, McDonald's, guys. Just because you gotta have McDonald's everywhere. So it's kind of cool, you know, to see a uh, little different thingy thing, because obviously the menu's a little different. Maybe we'll have to go check it out and see what they got. And here we got the menu, guys. We have the uh, McTrio, a CBO, we have a clubhouse, barbecue crispy onions, we have all kinds of other things. We have the Boyo McCrispy, so the crispy chicken. Uh, pretty cool, guys, pretty cool. Uh, Big Mac is about, Five dollars, four or five dollars, just give it a perspective. And also we have the biggest flag in Mexico. It is 150 feet uh, like long by 90 some feet. And just to give you a perspective of how big and far away that is. Look at this, giant. And again, here we have the giant flag. It is absolutely monstrous. Uh, then we have the port here. There's our uh, cruise ship over there. Just to give you a perspective of how big this flag is, maybe that's that's a bad representation, but that's a cool picture. This is huge. So yeah, pretty cool though, guys. Definitely a nice little area. There's an Ensenada, nice photos, and yeah, beautiful little walkway by the water and, and everything, really. This must go to the port. Oh yeah, this is walking to the, the boat, actually. So you could actually walk directly from the port to the downtown and to this flag and what I would say was probably only about 10, maybe 15 minutes max, or you could take a shuttle. Here we go guys, we have a big fish market, all kinds of fresh fish, some being like sea bass, some more expensive ones here, we have some big piece of uh, tuna, some swordfish all along here. I mean, I will say for the capacity of if you want some fresh fish with a big variety, I mean, whether it be smoked or some serious, serious, serious steaks, you know, big, big, big pieces of fish, they got it all, so. Pretty impressive, guys. Pretty impressive. Shrimp, we got popo, we got octopus, camarones, we have um, all kinds of clams and oysters. Got it all, got it all. Everyone, and just while we're here, we're stopping a quick bite at Tacos Lilies. Um, Alessandra got a Gobernador, which is looks like shrimp and cheese, lots of cheese. I just wanted a classic fish taco. Costs about a dollar, and hers, I believe, is about three dollars, three fifty. And then you have your own toppings. We have some uh, pickled jalapenos. We have some cabbage, some onions, some salsas. So here you go. Got to can't come to Mexico without having a taco. So this is what the uh, inside of the taco looks like. I did try it. It was very good. I need to put salsa on it, and the salsa is like runny. So I don't think I'll really be able to capture you getting a bite, but. I also put the uh, onions and the um, cabbage on it. So we just had our little taco. Of course, like I said, can't go to Mexico without a taco. It's actually really, really good. The fish taco is great quality. Alessandro really likes it as well. I had about four or five pickled jalapenos with it, which was absolutely delicious. That's one thing I really, really like. Um, along with the dressings of all the 
There were salsas they had on the table. They also had a, a thing of pickled jalapenos and pick and pickled carrots, which is a thing I know they like sell by the can in Mexico as well. It's kind of a nice little addition. So there's some good burn going on, guys. Some a little whole peppers. Do we'll do that? Of course, I just drink the salsa basically. But there you go. That was in Sonata. I had two percent left on my battery here. But uh, if we do anything else cool, we'll let you know. I got the two percent for that. And if not, I think we're gonna kind of head back towards the ship. Uh, but yeah, cool spot. Nice little uh, beach town. Again, the seafood market right here is absolutely crazy. I mean, the little bit of food we had was all solid. And uh, yeah, I mean, I come back. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll have to. There, uh, Alessandra. Maybe this is uh, foreshadowing, guys. Maybe we will have a future endeavor here in Baja, California, which is in Mexico. Just so you're not mistaken. And here's the official sign: Puerto de Ensenada, Ensenada Port. And again, we're just heading back to the old cruise ship, but it's cool. Ensenada. Thanks, Ensenada. And having a burger. This is a double burger. I had a whack of uh, veggies and jalapenos and stuff. As I'm waiting for the salad bar, ketchup, mustard, hot sauces. There's a big old burger, lots of veggies on it. I'm gonna uh, try to dress it up a bit. Try to dive into it. I'm just gonna dress it up bite by bite. Ketchup, mustard, more ketchup. A pour of hot sauce. Voila. I think I like the normal Tabasco on the burger a little better. But very good. It is a nice burger. When it's cooked fresh, it does taste very delicious. I'll try the barbecue hot sauce mix. Just on that bite. A little extra hot sauce. It's all right. I'm not the biggest fan of the barbecue sauce. Good stuff. All right, we're here at the absolute top of the cruise ship. But just look at this view, guys. We got Mexico in the background. That giant, giant, giant flag. We have the uh, active kind of port, commercial port behind us. It is just absolutely stunning. Very, very, very beautiful. And Mexico just goes on. Here is people in the pool. But yeah, what a beautiful evening. Beautiful day. The mountains in the background. We're gonna play some mini golf though. And because we're in Mexico for lunch and I get my veggies here, I got a big thing of basically just bell peppers. There's this, which looks like a baked apple maybe. I don't know what that is. Don't think I'll beat the other one. And then coleslaw and salad. And before I eat the salad, guys, look at this friggin' sunset we're looking at. This is gorgeous. Just friggin' look at it. Gorgeous, gorgeous sunset, guys, out on the ocean as we debark and head out of port of Ensenada. Very gorgeous. Very, very, very beautiful. There you go. I can resume my salad. Here's our arugula. Olives. It's crazy to think I'm on a boat. Well, I'm on a boat. Got some fruit, some desserts. I do. 
I never work school. <laughs> Man, I love these bell pepper. Alright. It doesn't look that right. This place just got crazy busy. That's a big lineup. Round two. Back at dinner, I got a peach soup, which is supposed to be cold. We have some marinated chicken tenders. And we should have more apps coming. But uh, I will try this cold peach soup. It tastes like peaches and cream. Marinated chicken tender. It tastes like a piece of chicken with a teriyaki orange ginger sauce on it. Very ginger. Interesting. Here we got a cob salad. Here we have frog's legs, which are look like they're baked. Looks pretty interesting. Interesting. We'll give it a try. And then try the frog's legs. So, um, frog legs kind of taste like chicken slash fish, if you ask me. This one's cooked in like a kind of tomatoey, cheesy ish thing. Like the, the frogs taste fine. The sauce is interesting. It's like a tomatoey, kind of reminds me of like a pasta sauce, something like get on a pasta in a way, but. Uh, not bad. Here we have the short rib. Oddly enough, it's the same brown sauce as all the beef did the last couple days. Not my favorite. Here we got the uh, penne and the pork chop, I think? No, this is the Milanese. Oh, the chicken. It looks good, actually. I like that. It looks like a parm. So the short rib's good. It's very soft and tender. It is the same. I like it. So I'm not a big fan of that brown sauce, but just wiped it off. Green beans are good. Also, under legs for chicken. The pasta, maybe she didn't like as much, but not bad. Here we have the, what's it called? Baked Alaska. Here we have the Baked Alaska, which is like an ice cream cake with a meringue on it. Looks really good, blueberries. Then I have a fruit plate. I will try the Baked Alaska, because I don't really know what to expect. But definitely, let's say I got a strawberry-ish ice cream, maybe vanilla, and then they were a meringue. Ooh, yeah, I have both. I have chocolate and strawberry, I got both. Looks like they had a Neapolitan. I will say though, so I mean the ice cream is the ice cream, but that top meringue, very, very sweet. It's not a, not a crispy meringue. It's actually really good. This is probably the most impressive dessert I had just because it's like extra sweet ice cream. I like it. I forgot to video it, but I was, uh, I had a sear salad with uh, some uh, green peppers, and then I had a um, uh, pork chop, which was interesting, and uh, some turkey and a piece of mahi-mahi, so I forgot to video that, but that's that. And then I got some fruit, and this is a, a bit of a mousse. It's supposed to be coffee and white chocolate. Ooh, pretty good. I feel like we had something like that at our uh, restaurant one night. Then I have some turkey, a little bit of ham, some broccoli with some croutons, some soup on it, and uh, an apple. Delicious. Alrighty, one, we are officially getting off this boat. It was a lot of fun though. I definitely enjoyed the little three day adventure we had. It was memorable. Would I do it again? Yes. Will you do it again? Definitely. So, but anyway, three days comes and goes really quickly. Hope you liked this video. Got a little bit of the action, got a little bit of eating and everything in between. So, with that everyone, until next time, of course, they have to the hungry, happy eating. And, uh, 
we just, we just wanted to get off, off, the, uh, off the boat. So until next time, everybody. So that was how I spent a three day cruise. I want to, of course, give a huge thank you to my friend Alessandra, also a long time friend of the channel. Um, I'm glad we got to go on this adventure together. I had so much fun on this cruise. It was nice to just eat stuff, relax. I don't get to vacation very often, like that are not work trips. I do get to travel quite a bit, but it's always work revolved. So this was just a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know down below and maybe I should make this happen again. Hmm, what do you think guys? Should I go to another cruise ship? Should we maybe go to an all-inclusive? Let me know if you like this video and uh, we'll make it happen. So like I said, comment down below. It helps the algorithm out. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't. And of course, till next time guys, I appreciate you. Happy eating. Just look at it. Beautiful. As we sail away from the land, there we go. Very beautiful, nice view. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.